Hey guys, Meet Merp here, giving you week three update on our free to play account. So, like before, this is our week one through 14 strategy. Just moving along, uh, working on Basil Sean, Grief, Iden, Ranged, and Veers. Any of our excess energy we're putting into the two sets of nodes that we unlocked 49 on dark side and 54 on light side. Um, so, we're putting it into wheel. Uh, we're not going to do Cara Dune right now. Um, there's no point in getting her this early on, so we'll hold off on her. And then we're doing uh, Piet and Eighth Brother, which is the IG2K node. If you find yourself having more excess energy, whether through leveling or crystal refreshes, you can definitely just put them into Mandalorian. Um, and all the rest of these champions here, the characters, <coughs> Uh, come from shops, so there's no real rush to get them done. But this is the general order I would do them in. So Mandalorian, and then into Barris, Mace, Ahsoka, and Boba Fett. In Cantina, like before, we're done with Geo Soldiers, so now we're moving on to Geo Spy. Looking at our early game teams, um, we've already transitioned to our light side team transition to our dark side team and then I've created a better uh, credit heist team which I'll show you here. Uh, going over the account our capital ship pilot uh, Grandma Tarkin we've seven stars so he's ready to go. Uh, looking at our pilots uh, Geo Soldier's done. Uh, we're working on Geo Spy. We're buying Sunfac out of the guild store with Mark 1's and then when Geo Spy is done, we'll work on crew and the TIE Silencer to five stars. And then the same thing with TIE Fighter Pilot and the TIE Interceptor. For our Dark Side teams, uh, still running with Iden Troopers. Um, haven't lost a Galactic War since getting this team online. As you can see, we got Stormtrooper to seven stars already, Magma Trooper to seven stars. Um, and then we're just farming up Ida and Ranged and buying Colonel Stark when we have the currency. For the light side, uh, it's not really a team that we'll be using too often right now. Um, using the big friend method really has helped progress through the light side. But this is the team that I've been running with and have found good success with them and Galactic War as well. And then lastly, our Credit Heist team. The core of this team will consist of Boba Fett, Grief, and Mando initially. So don't be afraid to put gear into those guys and levels and skill ups. Stormtrooper Han you can do as well. He is needed for the CLS journey anyways. And for the last one, I just threw in Lando. Uh, you can really use anyone that you want though. Now on to our currency usage. Since we finished up Stormtrooper, now all of, all of our Cantina currency is going to go into Boba Fett. Guild activity, uh, once in a while I'll buy Colonel Starks out of here, but mainly I'm just buying uh, pieces of gear for scraps later on when we start relicking our characters. Mark 1, uh, like I said, I was buying Colonel Stark uh, now I'm really focusing on sun facts since we're getting closer to ships. So I really want my pilots to be seven stars and ready to go. Once I complete sun fact, I'll move on to Colonel Stark and buy up Barris as well. Dengar and Han Solo, uh, they can come later. Uh, but uh, we will definitely be buying them with Mark 1s. Squad Arena, we finished up Tarkin as our capital ship pilot. So now we're moving on to Mace Windu, who is also a capital ship pilot, but we won't be using his ship or his fleet. We're just mainly using him for his character. He's a really good Jedi tank early on and into the mid game. And then lastly for Galactic War, since we finished up Magma Trooper, I am saving all my currency from Galactic War to buy up these four individual ships when we unlock ships in a couple of levels. I do want to take a moment to talk about some deviations that I've made in the farming path. 
After discussing with some other individuals, we feel that Barris is a good option to get early on. She is a very flexible healer and is a Jedi and Galactic Republic tag. We don't really care about her leadership ability, but her ability to heal everyone and equalize their health uh, really plays well into the mid and even late game. She is a fantastic healer, goes great with all sorts of Jedi, and being that she's Galactic Republic and Jedi, she fits very easily early on into the Qui-Gon Jinn team that we'll build and then can transition into pretty much any other Jedi team in the future, whether that's with JML or JMK. That wraps up week three. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you next week.